Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Dean, your brother in Dean. What's going on, everybody? How's it going? How's everybody doing? I got some time today. Headed in the woods. Gonna cook something very, very interesting today. Trying this for the first time. It's about 75 degrees today here in Iowa. It's been raining. Maybe you can see it's sprinkling low, but over here. But that's not gonna stop Dean from going in the woods, man. Right? Of course not. Actually, the weather is not really bad. We get a little bit of rain. It's been raining all day today. But I think uh, once I get in the woods and the canopy of the woods, of the trees, it's going to keep rain from going on me. So I got a little bit of hike. I got about uh, maybe a couple miles of hike. Until then, I'm just going to hike. See, you can see it's, it's raining. It's raining pretty good. That's okay. Dean doesn't mind. This is all for you guys. All for you. So, thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. For all of you that subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. This video is for you guys. Yep, it's raining pretty good now. So when I get to my destination, I'll let you know what I have in mind today. And we'll go from there. So see you there. So I have been hiking for a little while. Look what I came across here. I'm not sure if you guys could see this. But this is all wild blackberries. Look at that. A lot of them are ripe. Man, this brings me back when I was a kid in Bosnia. I used to pick a lot of these. Ooh, look at that. This is ripe. This one. Mm. Mm. These are so good. Can't get better than this. Look at all this. Oh, they're so good. Nice and fresh. Maybe on the way back. I'll pick some to go. Yeah, there's a lot of them here. It's so nice. In Bosnia, they grow like that big. And you can find the kids on the side of the road selling these and making some money. Rain has stopped. Looks like the sky is clearing. So we, we'll get back down in the woods by this little creek. I need some rocks. So let's get down there and get started on this video. It's not that we already didn't start. 
Oh, it's so nice in the woods. It's much cooler than, than out in the sun. Like I said earlier, it's about 75. Maybe it's gonna get to 80 degrees, but being in the woods, in the shade, whew, it's really nice. All right, here we are. There's this little creek down here, right behind me. It's got little rocks for uh, for what I want to do today. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can tell from the title, but I wanna try cooking some venison meat in the ground. So I wanna dig a hole, put little rocks inside the hole, get a good bed of coals down there, good fire, and uh, wrap up venison meat in a tin foil and cook it like that. So I have not ever done this before. I'm trying this for the first time. This is where I'm gonna dig the hole. There's my little shovel, right? My backpack there, I got my big saw. Since I'm gonna need a lot of wood. I don't wanna spend a lot of time cutting the wood with my little saw. So I'm gonna dig a hole here, get the fire going, wrap it up in a tin foil, bury it in there and uh, start another fire on top of it. So it's gonna take a little bit of time, probably a couple of hours, but hey, time is all I got today. We're gonna get going. I don't need big rocks. I need uh, maybe this big of a rocks. Uh, I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna bring up some. I gotta dig a hole first and uh, we'll go from there. Try to dry it out. But I think the trick is here, rocks. So these rocks, they gotta heat up in order for them to stay really hot to cook the food inside the ground. From my research that I did, I've seen a lot of people putting these rocks in the ground and then building a fire on top of it. So that's what we are gonna do today. So I'm just gonna start lining these up down here on the ground like so and uh, once we do that we'll start the fire and I'm sure the fire is gonna dry these rocks up I think this is pretty good. All I have to do now, clean my hands and uh, get some firewood to get that fire going. You guys, we got the fire going. I think, uh, I'm gonna let that, all that wood burn down and then uh, I'm gonna put the meat inside and bury it. While that's burning down, I'm gonna take a little break. It's hot here, it's humid. I'm gonna drink a little bit of water. As you can see, my shirt is all wet. That's how hot it is and especially working around the fire, it gets even hotter. I'm gonna drink a little bit of water, then I'm gonna get that meat out. Get it 
all prepared, seasoned up, wrapped up in a foil. So when that fire burns down, we're not wasting any time. Just gonna throw it in there, bury it, and start another fire on top of it. Uh, those rocks are heating up pretty good too. If you guys do this, just be careful what rocks you pick from the from the creek, especially if they're in the creek and if they're wet. Because sometimes some of these rocks, when they get hot, they expand and they explode. So you gotta be careful. As you guys see earlier, I tried to pick those round rocks. I don't think those are a problem. I haven't had any problems with them yet. But yeah, just be careful what rocks you get. And sometimes those limestone rocks, they break up really easily. So if you put them in a the fire, they can explode and they can get all those holes on you in the eyes and everything. You gotta be careful with that. But I think fire is going pretty good. We'll just wait for it to burn down and we can start cooking. I uh, gotta get some more firewood. Firewood is burning down pretty quick. So I'm gonna drink some water, get that meat all ready, seasoned and everything wrapped up, and I'm gonna go cut up some more firewood for the next fire. So stay tuned. I got the foil. Got the meat. I got some ribs here, and this is a neck. So uh, I wanted wanted to have some bone on there. So I picked out the neck and ribs here. So those things they also should be cooking pretty fast as well. And that's pretty much it for the seasonings. I'm gonna use a Chicago steak seasoning. And I'm gonna use, I already have some mixed, some salt and black pepper. And that's pretty much it. Put some oil on the ground here. Get the meat out right there. Dry it up. I already pre washed it at home, so it does not need to be washed. I'm just gonna dry it up a little bit. Oh, I think this is gonna be so good. Actually, there is a lot of meat on this neck here. And of course, ribs. You cannot go wrong with ribs. So let's do some salt and pepper first. This one is very new. Haven't used it yet. Can't go wrong with Chicago steak either. Especially with venison. It gives it so much flavor. Alright. 
and just wrap it up in foil. We'll do next first. Just like that. Cover up the ends nicely. I think I'm gonna go one more time. Just in case if you're gonna be burying it in the ground. I want it to be protected from from dirt and stuff. There we go, there's one. Just like that. Fire is burning. This is ready. Once the fire burns down, I'm gonna put it in there and get the, another fire on top of it. And that should be it. And all we have to do is wait. Waiting game. I'm gonna go cut up some firewood too. Getting low firewood. So what I'm doing here is I'm getting all these woods all this fire was getting ready for the next fire. So the inside is going to burn out and this over here is going to be ready to start burning. Just to clean up around here a little bit. All the firewood has burned down. Now we have good bed of coals there. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna move all these to the side. I'm gonna get some of those coals out. I'm gonna get the meat, place it inside and put those rocks and rest of the coals on top of it. And then start burning another fire on top of that. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. Once it's uh, all set up to go, I don't know, an hour and a half to two, two hours, I'm thinking. So, I think I'm gonna let it go for a couple hours and take it out and see what's going on. So, I'm just gonna move these on the side right now. Oh man, this fire is hot. See, all these that started burning right now. It's just gonna help my fire start burning faster. I just move them on the side like this. Be careful so you don't burn yourself. Look at that. And that's like this. And the ones that are really hot. I'll just pick him up at my shovel here. They don't have to go far away. It's right there. And it helps when they have these little branches sticking on the side. If they're not burned down, it helps just to grab those on the side of those branches and pick it up. And it also helps having gloves. So I always carry gloves on me when I go in the woods. Especially when I'm working around the fire or when I'm working with, with tools like an axe or, or a saw. It, it helps protect your hands from the elements. So, let's get some of those coals out. Put that stuff in and cover it up. 
There you go. Let's get the meat. Here's the neck. These are the ribs right here. There you go. There you go. So what we're gonna do now? These rocks. We're just gonna try put them on top of there. like so oh yeah yeah these rocks are really really hot I think that's a trick get those rocks really hot so those rocks will cook the meat there you go Let's get this one this one right there on top just like that get some of these just like this There you go. All right. No. So we get some of this dirt around here. Yeah, just like this. There's another rock right there. Right there. There you go. All these coals. Just like this. I got some more firewood here. If I need it, I don't think I'm going to need any more. I'm going to use my backpack as a pillow here. Just like that. Get my water over here. I just chill out. Just chill. Take off my hat a little bit. I got some fresh hair on my head. This cold water is going to be good. So when I was trying to set up my mat, I was looking which direction wind was blowing. So I don't have to get all the hot air from the fire over here. If it was winter, I would do that. But since it's summer, you know, I want that fire to be away from me. That's why I stepped back a little bit too, so. Looks like day. It's turning out to be beautiful. Smilla. Gotta stay hydrated here. You're busy working. And you don't even think about drinking water. You gotta drink some water here. Yeah, that fire is nice. See, no smoke whatsoever. You gotta kick back a little bit to relax. I don't know what else to do. Should have got. 
coffee to make some coffee here. I was thinking to do that, but I tried to go as light as I can. It's starting to rain here. It's actually raining pretty good. Uh, fire is good. I think worst case scenario, we're gonna have to build a just a little shelter to stay out of outside of the rain. It continues to rain, but it's what I did. I made a little shelter above the fire so it doesn't put out my fire. I'm under the tree here. Staying pretty dry here. That's how it is. You always got to be ready to improvise. Fire is burning nicely. You see what I did right there? Kind of cut a notch right there, broke it. Let it over here. Cut a notch, broke it, and just put that in the ground down there. So if I was to make a shelter for myself, I can make it right over there. See the fallen tree right there? I can make it anywhere here. Or just right here, you know. Put a nice branch around from like here to over there, tied to the tree and make a little A-frame there. But it's not raining too bad. If I get wet a little bit, it's okay. As long as my food gets cooked here, that's all that matters. And this rain is actually cooling me off too, so it's really nice. Here you go. The fire has burnt down. I'm gonna let it, let the coal sit like that for about half an hour. It's been about an hour and a half since we've done that. I don't think I can wait anymore. So I wanna get these coals out of here, move everything away and see what we did here. I just wanna eat, man. Hungry. I wanna see how this is, so. You get the coals on the side here. Get the rocks moved away. Oh, it's so hot here, guys. It's so hot. I wonder if I, I waited too long, maybe. Hopefully, I didn't burn this. Yeah, boy, that's the neck. Right over there. Oh, yeah, you can hear that. You can hear that cooking in there. Let's get it out. See what we did here. Let's move this out of the way here. Move that, because that's going to smoke. Mm. Smells good. So I don't know what we did here. Let's see. Hopefully we did good. Hopefully we didn't burn it. Oh my goodness, you guys. This smells so good. Let's see. Let's see what we did here. This is the neck. Oof, Hopefully we didn't burn it. Oof. Man, it's hot. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Yeah. Let me get a let me get to open this up here. Mm. I wish you guys can only smell this. Yeah, 
Yeah, ribs are definitely a little burnt from the other side. Yep. Ah, I mean. So let me get some more foil here, some clean foil. We can cut into it and see how it is. This is not bad for the first time, you guys. Not bad at all. Uh, let me get this. It's really hot. It's still hot. I can't hold it. Ooh. Let me get this. Burn stuff off. Oh, yeah. Once you get that off. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Look at this. That's, that's done. Bismillah. Look at this. Oh, it's just so hot. Can't hold it in your hands. So hungry, I wanna try it. Look at this, you guys. That's done. Mmm. So good. And just coming right off the bone. Look at this, you guys. Hmm. And that Chicago steak sauce, something else. I see the neck. Look at this. That's neck. Mm. So nice and tender. Oh, well, that worked pretty good. I think just next time, for the next time. I got a bed in a little bit deeper. And that's about it. Man, this is so good. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm gonna pack it up and go home. That's it for today. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.